Hi everybody, this is day two of our trip to Salt Lake City in Utah. Today we're starting off a bit later than usual because when I got home last night from Case Cross, I kind of fell asleep on the couch and didn't charge my camera, didn't back up my photos, didn't do all the stuff I was supposed to do so I could get out early this morning. So, oops, that didn't work out. And for whatever reason too, um, Canada seems to have come down to Utah today and it is snowing down here right now. It's snowing and it's wet and it's heavy. And I didn't bring any winter stuff because it's supposed to be a desert. So we're going to have to do this in the snow. Uh, so before we head out down to Arches National Park, we're going to go east towards uh, Immigration Canyon. I was told yesterday that east in, into Immigration Canyon, not that far into it, is the uh, old home and uh, body dumping grounds of Ted Bundy. And apparently also where the Donner family uh, became cannibals as they were coming across the country. So it's only about 20 minutes away. We're already running late as it is, so we'll see how it plays out. Uh, we're going there first in the snow, and then we're going south. And hopefully it's not snowing in Arches National Park. Here we are at Donner Hill, just about 25 minutes outside of Salt Lake City. As you can see, it's a lovely February day out here. Uh, the snow is pretty pretty bad. I don't know how far down the storm goes, but uh, we're going to try to wrap it up here pretty quick and then go south as fast as we can. I kind of wish now I would have uh, really not slept in and crashed on my couch last night. Anyway, here's Donner Hill where the Donner Party had uh, used to cross over here on their way across the continent, as was the Bur Burnham Young's Pioneer Party. The Donner Party had to resort to cannibalism after uh, several mistakes on the way here, running out of food, running out of water, running out of this and that. So Donner Hill itself has quite the history, but what we're actually going to today is about 100 feet down from here. As you can tell, I'm on a highway. Uh, it's uh, a little path to, the, to where Ted Bundy dumped some of the bodies of his victims during uh, his time in Salt Lake City. So it's about 100 feet that way. Now, when I was driving up, actually, I saw this sign and thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> well, this one here. The fire danger today is it's low. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. <laughs> today, especially. So, actually, I saw this on Google Maps first, so I knew where to turn off and where to walk. So, it's only about 100 feet, which is still a, a unit of measurement I'm struggling with in America because they use feet and miles and yards. And for whatever reason, my GPS is also in that. So it like tells me in 40 yards, turn left. And I don't know how far 40 yards is in America because our football fields are different sizes. So I can't even use that as a unit of measurement. I don't know how, how you are, but it's snowing right into my eyes. So it is very hard to see. What's this? No trespassing. Well, they didn't gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Should probably clarify in the last video, never trespass, especially in America, you can, you can get shot. <laughs> but I think we're walking up to his house here. The remains of it. Covered in snow. This is everything else. I think that's the house. Maybe not. It's tough to tell because of all the snow. And of course, it's not very well marked. I'll walk around for a bit more, see if we can find anything else. So, I've been out here for about 20 minutes, half an hour, wandering around the snow trying to find it. I think I finally did. So check this out. Is the house. I'm guessing because this building over here looks like the cellar. So we're gonna go to the house first and then go down the cellar and see if we can even get down there. So I'm pretty sure this is the, the house remains. Although it's tough to say for sure. It has a concrete base, but that tree in the middle looks pretty old. I guess Bundy would have been killing about 
40 or 50 years ago now, so maybe that's the age of that tree. Tough to say. But we'll go back to the what I think is the, the cellar, see what we can find. Well, I tried to open it with the kind of handle on the left side there. There's not that much snow in front of it. It's all kind of like a couple inches back, but I think it's welded shut or closed shut. I haven't seen any recent videos of anyone being down there, so it's tough to say for sure. I'm certain this is it. It's just unfortunate that we can't go inside. Especially because we drove all the way here in this horrible weather and wandered around. Now we can't get in. Oh well. It is what it is. So, disappointing we couldn't go inside the cellar. And disappointing that I decided to be a blizzard today. And that it took me a long time to find that building. But, uh, you know, it. I saw it. I've been told that if you go down, if you can get down there, you can really feel like the presence, like an evil energy. I don't know. I didn't get the chance to go down there, so maybe a summer trip is in order to see if maybe we can open that door. Again, though, don't ever trespass, especially not in the States where you can get shot. Respect all property laws and everything. And uh, if you do go out there, don't go out in a snowstorm because uh, it's, it's not a good idea. Thankfully, <clears throat> thankfully, we have a three-hour drive ahead of us so I can dry off, hopefully, by then. Oh, I'm just soaked. <laughs> uh, is it kind of foggy? I think it's a little bit foggy. Thank you.